Howdy y'all, I'm back with a fiery new video. So now with the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie um, only a few days away, I thought why not make a video about the movie or some part of the movie, right? So I'm going back to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, right? So in this, the main villain was a guy named Ego, right? Not really a guy, more of a living planet, if you will. Now, you know if you watch the movie that Ego is Star-Lord's dad, right? With Ego being this race called the Celestials, which are like space gods, right? Which is a huge problem in my opinion because of the fact that the Eternals movie exists, right? So you're telling me that Ego, Kurt Russell, is one of these things? Like, I don't know why, but this is such a huge power difference, right? Like, don't get me wrong. Ego is insanely, like, strong and powerful, right? And he's billions of years old. But in the movie, he really only demonstrated some planetary control. It wasn't like he can manipulate all this crazy stuff. But the uh, Celestials can do some crazy stuff, right? Like, they birth themselves through the death of a whole planet and its people, right? And they also created the Eternals, which in the MCU is like one of the strongest different types of people out there, right? And then on top of that, in the comics, the Celestials were able to basically create life. It was the Big Bang, right? They were the they were responsible for it, right? And fun fact, actually, Noel, the god of symbiotes, hated the Celestials for doing this. So he decapitated one of them. And now in the MCU, that is called Nowhere, which is that decapitated head thing they had where it was like harvesting like brain fluid and stuff. Really crazy. But it's cool to see them actually inc incorporate that part, even if they couldn't be like, oh, yeah, some crazy guy with a, like a necromancy like sword just like straight up slice his head off right but even though he wasn't as strong as the comic version i personally love this version of ego way more one it's kurt russell he's such an amazing actor right and his interpretation as ego was just special like the reveal that he put a tumor in star lord's mom was one of the best story twists in the mcu in my opinion because it was just so good and like heart like felt you know Obviously, the whole movie was amazing, right? But just hearing him say that was like, whoa, right? And the fun fact, actually, is that Star-Lord's mom was the person who got an autograph from Captain America in the first Captain America movie. Now, with MCU Ego, he was definitely one of the biggest threats as far as the MCU is concerned, right? But comic Ego is even more insane, right? And this tends to happen with movies because they have to scale them down power-wise. Um, that way it's actually enjoyable and makes sense to watch. It's not like, oh, okay, crazy just happening left to right, right? So it's like, it, it makes sense why they would power him down. For example, in the comics, with him being a living planet, he can manipulate his body like ground to its atmosphere, right? So this means he can manipulate his look to change into like other planets like look-wise. He can also make his own like plants and antibodies and animals. Uh, obviously not sentient, but still cool nonetheless, right? And can create different natural disasters, right? Tsunamis, um, earthquakes, hurricanes, all the stuff he can make on his planet. He's also pretty intelligent and has telepathy. And he wasn't a celestial or Star Lord's dad. Now with Ego, he's had a couple different origins. Um, the two that really come to mind is one like and this is from the comics right so there's these things called gardeners and they'll basically put in like a seed into like a planet or moon or whatever right and basically it can become like a living planet that's one origin so there was a scientist right named egros and there's this cosmic being known as the stranger who caused egros's home star to go literally supernova as part of its um, random experiment and literally merged the life of all the living beings on uh, Egros' home world. And obviously, Egros, Eco, and it kind of made sense. So it basically formed a living planet. And this is interesting, but personally, Ego is definitely a weirder character. The Celestial Origin just made more sense as far as MCU if you want a nice, neat plot. But 
overall I like it um, there's a lot of plot holes with Kurt Russell's ego also though but overall now you know ego